Welcome to Good Mythical More. Let's explore the world of fast food menu item fails. Meaning items that, they just didn't work out. They didn't work out. They didn't work out. We're gonna be guessing which year they were introduced. Okay. But first, we're going to give Merchicality winner Jason Alderman $50 to go over to mythical.com. You rep merch, you get merch. Get some more of that merch. Uh -huh. Hey, if you put if you put that merch on in a while, let us know what? on the internet with hashtag Merchicality. You might be a winner too. Jason's wife gave him that because uh, she knows that he loves GMM. Thanks, Bird. Love you. I guess he calls, calls his wife Bird. Stacy Bird. Yeah, uh, Roosevelt did that, or Roosevelt, as some people say. I got a warning for you. I may have to sneeze. I'm gonna try to sneeze it in the. No, no, no. Let me. I, 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 <laughs> oh man, that could have blown up the whole thing. Oh look, we've got two. That's our punishment. We've got two inputs. They thought of everything. Did you say I've got a warning for you before you sneeze? Yeah. Okay. What is Just this? Sure. It's a giant burger. Oh my gosh. This is, it would be convenient if the other valve was on the other side. But at this rate, we just gotta stay next to each other. <gasps> and we're gonna be blowing this up as we're playing the game. So Stevie, let's hear the first one. Okay. KFC once had a non-fried- I can't hear you when you I can't hear you when I'm blowing. <laughs> when you sneeze, do you ever try to harness the power of a sneeze for um, blowing, for blowing your out nose. a candle? No, for blowing your nose. No, that's dangerous. You, to, to force it out of your nose, not your mouth? I think you want to force it out of your mouth because I don't think you want to hurt the, any of the tissues. Stevie, uh, what's I've the, done it though. What's the question? Don't blow for a second. Don't blow for a second. I, can't, I gotta blow. I'm quiet. We're gonna blow quietly. <laughs> KFC. Once had a non-fried rotisserie chicken on the menu called the Colonel's Rotisserie Gold. When was that? When was that? Wow. Well, I remember this. They had to put a Where whole freaking I? rotisserie system in the KFCs only for it to fail. That's a that's a big that's a big risk. All right, I've got a system. I'm going to go back. I'm going to use uh, some like use this in like uh, psychology. Uh, basically, when you try to like go back to a place, what is it when they send you back to where you were? Uh, re um, regression. Okay, I'm gonna regress to the place. <laughs> I'm gonna fall right out of my seat. I'm gonna regress to the place that I was when I saw this commercial. And I'm gonna cover you up in this. In this. Hold on, I'm, I'm trying to go back. Okay, up. Oh, just turn that over. Watch out for the uh, you know the electronics. Sorry, Morgan. This is my this is my teammate. The winner. Here we go. Now you need to regress. Okay, so I'm going back to this place. I'm in what we call the extra room. I'm gonna think about this commercial and I'm gonna think about, I'm gonna look around and I'm gonna go and I'm gonna look at myself in a mirror to see how old I am and then I'm gonna figure <laughs> out what year it is. Let's see this. You want a little bit off the top or? You're making it harder because now I'm at the barber. I really think you're good. I mean, it's like, I'll, I'll do it, but I mean. 89. You're like a human burger, man. Leave that. 1989. Is that your final answer? 91. Ooh. 93. Uh, 1993? Yeah. I wonder man. if it, I wonder it was. If it, did, it did, you, did you have it? He sent me to the barber. Uh, yeah, I had this. The, the rotisserie, man. It was a thing. Everybody, showed up. Everybody showed up at the Colonel. Well, why did they discontinue it? Because it's not as good as fried chicken. Yeah. I do not remember trying this. How, do you remember how many, does it say how many years it was around? You know what I bet they did? No. I bet they sold all of those to, uh, I'm done by the way. My valve only blew up this edge. Like, I don't know why, but. Is there another valve down here? Were you gonna say something about Boston Market? Or is that just me? I was just thinking, when did Boston Market? I think I did say that. They, it, they sold all of their rotisserie machines to Boston Market. I'm looking that up. Not that, <laughs> but like, okay, yeah. 85 is when Boston Market like 
first started. And then 95 is when they changed to Boston Market. I don't know. I think it has something to do with it. I think it has something to do yeah, with it. Yeah, me too. Me too. McDonald's had a juicy bone-in chicken wing, multiple <laughs> wings, in a bold, spicy breading called Mighty Wings. Okay. When were those introduced? Mighty Wings. I couldn't have told you that they were spicy. But I do, and maybe it's just that we talked about it on the show, or maybe I remember it from childhood. They wouldn't have done spicy wings when you were a child. Regress. Yeah, I'm regressing. I'm getting, I'm getting under this. Mmm. Spicy wings. This is. You're saying this is this is 2000s? 2000. Could have been 2000. Do you have a picture of it? Do you remember this? Or stuff? is that going to give it away? Well, that'll give it away. Kind of reveal at the end because we think the photo might give it away. I was going to say 2006. I said 2007, and I think they went away pretty quick. Um, it was actually before the KFC rotisserie chicken, 1990. 1990. Yeah. That's bull crap. So they had freaking bone and wings, and they just look like nuggets. Nothing about it says that it's gonna be spicy. That's. Is it anybody remember having these? For some reason, the the. Like mighty wings as a phrase, I remember. Right. I don't. I. I wonder if it tastes just like a nugget. You know how their nuggets have this like special taste. Yeah. I love a McNugget. I wonder. It looks like it would taste like a nugget, and that would make me happy actually. But then I would be like biting in the bone, and I'd be unhappy again. Well, huh. you don't have to worry about it. Because they discontinued it. So you'll never ever have it. That's right. Bad idea. Burger King once had a bacon sundae on the menu, and after it was tested in Nashville, it was met with mixed reviews, so they, they didn't push it nationwide. Really? A bacon sundae? That's so stupid sounding. Why would they think that was a good idea? I mean, that's really out there. Is I'm, not? Concern, I'm concerned about Rhett's uh, health at this point. Nothing's happening, dude. He picked that teat. If that was my teat, then I'd be back there blowing it up. No, you wouldn't. Yeah, I would. That's the difference between me and you. I don't. I feel like you need to. I are you gonna pass I, out? I finished you need my to job. Sit down. You still be talking. We all know. Um. Bacon craze of the late 2000s. I think this is um, a little too late to the game. I think this is going to be 2000. Uh, I think bacon hit its internet peak in oh, 2000, so 2009. I put a bunch of water in there. I'm saying 2009. Close. Uh, 20... 2008. No, 2012. Oh, let's see it. We have one? Okay. You can do it, Rhett. All by yourself. So it, it just had crumbled pieces of bacon on it. Yeah, oh, is some of that burnt bacon and some of it's normal bacon? Or is that, <laughs> what in the world? I mean, you can eat bacon on a, on an ice cream sundae, if you really want to. You're giving me a headache watching you do that. Just keep breathing. As long oh, as you just breathe it into it. <gasps> there you go. Dairy Queen tried to create a healthier blizzard option with the Dairy Queen Breeze. It was made with frozen yogurt instead of ice cream and people did not like it. Because it tasted like crap. 90s was healthy time. 90s was healthy time. Uh, uh, 90s was when we all thought we needed to be healthy. Well, then I'm going to say 98. Go a little bit down. 96. <laughs> 1990. 
1990. I wonder if it... Did they do the the uh, upside down dippy dippy with that? Like, like when dippy? you... They would hand it to you and go like that? Yeah. They didn't... No, they... With the, the frozen place, yogurt? The only place I knew they did that was at... Um, no, that, that is Dairy Queen's thing. The concrete... Where was the concrete place we would go to? Good Berries. I went by there recently. It's still there? It's still there. <laughs> concrete place? Yeah. What do you mean by that? They call it concretes, and it was like a certain type of thick ice cream. It was custard. They turned it upside down before they gave it to you. Yeah. It was custard. Don't make me waste my breath. I need every ounce of breath to go into this burger. <clears throat> McDonald's. I mean, frozen yogurt was a was a had its moment. Listen, I enjoy frozen yogurt. You know, if you just need that sweet dessert release, I think frozen yogurt does a, a fine job. This is a debate I have with Cassie every time it does I'm a like, fine let's order job, dessert. But it's not ice cream. It's definitely not yeah. a blizzard. I but I, you know what I haven't had? I'll go in for some pink berry when it's that like um That's like, what I'm saying. That type. Where, the, it's, where like, it's like tart. Yeah, when it's tart. Yeah. I could I could be up for that. Yeah. After this. Yeah, I like that. After this, you wanna go? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Cassie oh, wow. was in my dream. Oh. What was she doing? Ordering ice cream instead of the frozen yogurt I wanted to get? Hold on, it's coming back to me. Very recently. Oh, what was she saying? We were at a grocery store. We were, we were, we were at like an Erewhon type place. And we had, we were together, we were saying, we had split up to buy multiple things. We got to divide and conquer this Erewhon. Spending way too much money. Oh, and then we, and then we got back together and we consulted. What did she say? Southern about the tortillas. It'll come back to me. Yeah, get more lightheaded. It'll come back to you. I want to remind you to check out the Mythical Kitchen channel while I'm thinking about it. They're putting out three new videos every week. They got Meals of History, Imposter Chef, 2v2 Battles, Last Meals, and every week they got the Aprons Off series where they're not cooking, but they're doing other stuff. They're talking and tasting. So um, give Mythical Kitchen some love, all right? You're getting close, dude. Don't give up. You're gonna be sleeping on that tonight. Next. McDonald's once had fajitas on their menu. The fajitas included chicken, cheese, peppers, and onions. They even developed a slogan for the dish, referring to it as a taste of Mexico without the sunburn. <laughs> without the sunburn. There it is. There it is. <laughs> We did it. We did it. We did it. Did it. Did it. Oh you know, I gotta say, Rhett, there's something about. Let's put this behind us. This could be our new. Something bike. about Mexico that'll give you sunburn every time. So just lean, like lean forward. Get all burger in the background. Get all burger in the background. But, but put the bro no, don't. Let, uh, you just lean. It's not gonna work. Just move your butt forward, and then put it. Put it. Put it. There we go. Two guys on, on a burger. <laughs> um, that's kind of nice. You know, Rhett, Do I gotta say, pad? you really carried us in this, in the main episode, and now in the more. You're really carrying us today. Hmm. I will acknowledge that you've done most of the work. <sighs> okay. On both episodes. And I'm gonna cap well, it off by guessing. Hold on, what are we on now? McDonald's fajitas. Push it down a little bit. Push I'm gonna guess this one completely right on the first try. Here we go. McDonald's fajitas. I had these. Take a screenshot. 2002. That's mm -hmm. exactly what I was thinking. 2003. 2004. 
Cause, Man, that sucks. And then they, they kept all those tortillas for years, and then they said, we got to use these for something. They came up with snack wraps. Why would you want that for McDonald's? Every so fast it, food place was going through identity crises, right? So you got the 90s fajitas, it's health still crisis. Up, though. So they were like, we got to have healthy stuff. Now they realize everyone else has healthy stuff. That's not why we're here. And we know our lane, right? So they're not trying that anymore. Oh, but it came out the same time as the breakfast burrito, which Ooh. is a, such a winner. Ooh. But it says that there's diced tomatoes. Is there a little bit of diced tomatoes in a breakfast burrito? They removed that, because I can tell you right now, I love it, and there's no, there's no tomatoes in it. Yeah, I think that, I don't think there's peppers either. Are there? What's on a what's No, there's a, peppers. There's a little bit of peppers. Well, you, we're about to find out if they still do diced tomato. Can you look up the ingredients of a modern day breakfast burrito? Maybe they're so small you don't so, know they're in there. So when they tried the fajitas, the breakfast burrito was the winner. It was an A B testing. You know. BF testing. It's like burrito that, fajita. Sometimes you try things, and we do this a lot. You try things because you you know you never know what's gonna stick, what's gonna happen, but it always leads to something. Actually, the whole Rhett and Link experiment is an A-B test. Eventually, it's just gonna be one of us. Right. It's a multi-decade A-B testing. It just keeps going back and forth. Who's the burrito and who's the fajita? You're winning today, man. You're blowing uh, hot air, yeah. doing math. I, you know what? I felt good breathing directly into a burger. I like having this back here. I feel like it cleared something. Are we waiting on the, you wanna, you, while we're yeah, waiting yeah, yeah, on yeah, that, yeah. you wanna go to the next one or um, you wanna just sit? Fluffy eggs, green peppers, okay. onion, sausage, and they cheese. Took the, See, took I, they took tomatoes out. Yeah, they, they took tomatoes out, which is so great. So great that they <sighs> did that. The breakfast burrito, oh, that is good. If you had to, That's good. If you had to rank the items at McDonald's. I would have to put that, I mean, it's my second favorite breakfast item. With the sausage, egg, and cheese, McGriddle will be number one, of course. McDonald's is breakfast right, man. Stevie, let me hear you. For a limited time, Burger King launched barbecue ribs on its menus across the country during the summer of which year? Did they have bones in it or did they just repurpose like McRib competitors? Unclear. I think that they tried to compete what? with the McRib. Burger King is always responding. Not innovating. Burger King is kind of behind the eight ball. Well, I'll tell you. Responding. Well, you know what? I think they innovate when it comes to desserts. It's just nobody cares. What's a what's a Burger King dessert in, in, innovation? Pies, chocolate pie, um, and then there were all the cinnamon things that they did, like getting Cinnabon collabs going. They innovate too much in the dessert area, and then in the like the long fried chicken sandwich, like the ones shaped like that. Mm -mm, forget all that. Yeah, but th those are kind of nice. Especially when they do the Italian one, when it comes around. Christy loves that. You Christy can get the Italian that. one with the marinara and the cheese and mozzarella on it. <laughs> Christy goes back and she'll get yes. one of those and she's like, I was sick afterward. Oh, I, it doesn't make me sick, that's my problem. Um, what was it These again? weren't real ribs. ribs. Oh, ribs. Crazy. I tried to Google Burger King I don't King remember ribs this. And I accidentally Googled Burger King and I don't recommend it. <laughs> that's what's happening right here. Yeah. Did you guess? I was too busy looking at my results. I think I would know about this if it happened when I was an adult. Let's let's say 1992. 2010. What? And it looks like they did have bones in them. What a flash in the pan. What? And and, and you would dip it in the just the barbecue Does sauce. Does anybody remember these? It was real ribs. It looks like a it looks like a bad chicken wing, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's crazy. Why did they think this would work? I don't think you want to go to any fast food burger place and get bones. <laughs> like, you don't want bones at a fast food burger place. But what about only bone a, and wing place? On a chicken place, only a chicken place. Don't put bones in any of my stuff. I want to be a bite all the way through it. This just should have been nixed. All right, one more. Lightning round. Frings, or Friends? a bag, frings, that's uh, had both onion rings and fries together from Jack in the Box. Oh. Hold on, so it's just in the same box? <laughs> yeah. 
That's a good His idea. Bag. That's, That's a good probably, idea. probably last year. I never want a whole thing of onion rings. Um, yeah. 2022. No. This one's our oldest one on this <laughs> this this more. Well, 89. 88. There, there might, there's a reason that you don't remember it. 79. 72. 79. 1979. Frings. Doesn't it? It sounds ahead of its time. They like the merging of two words into a marketing thing like that. Have a fring. It's just nobody wants. If you want onion rings, you only want. This is perfect. This is perfect. Bring it back. You could also just probably just ask for it. Give me half and half. You're gonna sleep on this tonight. Let's see if we can pop it. It's open. We're we're done. We're done. We're not gonna pop it. We're done. Don't pop it. <sighs> what you're sleeping on tonight? Step into the mythical kitchen channel to have even more mythicality in your week. Subscribe.